Hey, Chi Money Girl. So I'm back today and today I am with my notes. You know what I thought about, guys? I thought that I should take one business idea, we break it down, I tell you how to model it, then how to sell it, and how to make money from it. That way, if you want to, you know, like adopt it, you want to run with it, you can have the business plan almost ready and ready to go. You know what I mean? So all you have to do is to put your twist to it here and there and then run with it because this channel is to make money. You're not just coming here to get just information. You're just here to get actionable processes and what to do to actually plug in and make the money come, right? So today I'm talking to you about something that I have done for several years. I thought, why not I should share? This is something I share actually in my paid trainings, but I don't mind. You're my gang now, so why not? You know what to do? Drop in the comment section what you think is the most amazing thing you have learned on this channel. And then share this video to somebody who will need it because somebody will need it. And, you know, we are not being selfish here. Remember, I could have charged for it, but I decided to give it for free. So why not make it free for someone else? So I'm going to talk about sure ways to make millions selling one digital product that people will really, really want. Because trust me, guys, I'm going to show you a bit of the principles um, in this beginning. Then we'll go step by step at actually what you should do and how you should do it. Okay, are you even ready? If you have not followed our channel till now, you're not joined them again, you're just watching and hopefully thinking you can click out. You don't, you don't do that here, okay? So you just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because I trust you will and subscribe and let's keep going, okay? So number one, I want to start with saying first, a digital product is any product that you can ideate, develop, and sell all on the internet. Is that okay? So, and that doesn't mean you can't use any of the processes for a physical product or so, but for this scope of this video, we are dealing with just a digital product. And I will tell you, it's not all digital product even. I will tell you that we are going to use a case study that will fit into something like an ebook, which is my number one choice, an online course, um, probably a let's say a webinar, right? So let's use those three educational digital products as an example, all right? And then let me also say something by way of starting. Digital products have been something I have been doing for the last, uh, say, since 2009, like since I started blogging and I started selling my skills, right? Yes, I sell my editing and publishing skill all online. People meet me online by encountering my blog or website. Then they reach out. All my processes are documented. Correspondences are back and forth. I don't do physical call. You know, I don't take jobs by physical call or by friendships. Even if we are on the friendship level, you still have to do the correspondence as we want to do it. Right? And I've learned a few things about digital products in particular. And if you know anything about digital products, you should know that it's a high income and low stress kind of business. Now, that doesn't mean that online business is easy. Not that in any way. If it is that easy, why are we not all blowing, right? Why is everybody not blowing on social media, for instance? Why is this channel not 1 million subscribers yet? Why is it not, you know, a billion views yet with all the amazing things I teach every week, right? So that's to show you that online business is not also that business that is easier than offline business. So get that out of your mind if you're thinking of starting something online. Now, I'm going to take an ebook business as my product in this video, okay? So let's dive right in. Are you even ready? Are you with your note now and a pen? Get your pen, get your notes, and let's dig in. Should I wear my glasses? I think I should. <laughs> All right, so I'm waiting for you to get your pen and paper, and let's do this. Okay, so I've been kind of procrastinating this for a while. Like, should I, should I not, you know, that kind of thing. And you know that it's easy for people to keep away some secrets of what works for them because, I mean, we need to, you know, sell our course. We need to you know, make money, right? <laughs> so this is me saying, let's dig into this for real and for free, right? So sure ways, surefire ways to make money from one digital product that everybody really, really wants. Let me tell you about the last part that everybody really, really wants. That's the part that a lot of people miss out on. 
right? Anybody can create a digital product. Anybody can even, you know, apply their business school skill in trying to sell a product, right? But not everybody understands the path of how do I know exactly how to create this product in a way that people will hunger for it. Because it's the hunger that will make them pay. Because trust me, they already have that money earmarked for other things like bills, like electricity, like house bills, like you know, it may be a vacation, but you're going to take a bit of that money that is already budgeted for something else and there is always scarce resources, guys. You're going to get a bit of it when they buy your product because they feel like, oh my God, this is something I've been looking for the longest time. Oh my God, I don't mind. And even the price is like, wow, it's a giveaway. She's giving a lot or he's giving a lot for a little price. So I just take advantage of this right now. So they jump in. How do you get that effect? That's one of the things that this video will do for you. So let's go right in. So number one thing you should do if you want to start a digital product business, you want to sell a digital product, is to first of all, think and decide on the solution you want to bring so say for instance, I want to help single men get ready to get married rightly in a way that they can get into a marriage that they can handle, they can grow by, they can be happy in, and they can build a fantastic family and a generation that is grounded and happy afterwards. That looks like a mouthful, but you know, trust me, my target audience is there. So what is the solution I want to bring? I want to give them a quick tip, a quick checklist that they can just look at. Okay, I should do this, 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 this. And immediately they can do this and check it out. They are on their way to readiness for the wedding. You get what I mean? Now, that's one example. Another example is I want to create an ebook to help guys who are shy to make the move about ladies that they actually think they should be talking to or dating, but they are so shy and anxious to even make the first move so that they can learn what to say, how to say it, and how to respond depending on her own response and still win her love. You get that? Sorry, I was a, you know, sneezing. Okay, so that out of the way, you have thought about this solution in reference. I think I have the skill that it requires to share, to tell. So you are able to do this because you've identified that first. You have the skill, you have the knowledge or the expertise or the secret that people hardly know about these subject areas. And that solution you have will help such a single man. So first, that's the first thing to do. Decide on a solution. That solution will be something that is within your reach, something that you already know you can maneuver, you can create, something that you have experience in, you have results with, right? The next step is to validate whether the solution is actually what people want, M meaning that discover if the solution is actually going to solve a real life problem for anybody. How are you going to validate? You are going to go to the real world. You're going to talk to your friends, people who are already in that demography you have identified the solution will possibly be for, and ask them if you had something that was like a checklist that will help you know exactly what and what to do so you don't forget anything and you don't regret anything by the time you're married, would you want to invest in it? And you have to get their real-life responses, right? So you need to talk to your friends. You need to talk to people. You need to go to where such people hang out and make friends and ask them questions. If you need to use the questionnaire, by all means, but people don't really tell all the truth in questionnaire, but it really can help, okay? You can also go to Facebook groups where you think that demographics usually hang out. And according to rules of the group, group, be able to ask if people are seeking solutions in that way. You can frame your question in a way that will make people to give responses. Give an open-ended question. Let people hear whether, you know, if they have such problems. Another way is that you can actually use your WhatsApp status, your Facebook group or whatever to say, oh, I want to open up a session, just a one hour session to discuss with someone who may be, you know, finding it difficult to know what and what to do to get really prepared as a man before he gets married. Anybody in, you know, like a free strategy session. Somebody might come in and say, oh yeah, I have a few questions I want to ask. You can put it in the guise of, do you have any questions concerning this? 
Yeah. What are some of the things that a soon to be married man should take note of to be able to build a happy family, for instance, or to be able to gain respect and build a family, a happy family, or even if it is towards wedding itself, whatever it is that your solution is, you can ask questions that are open ended that way so that you can see how people are interested in it. You can also go to Google, which is very important. Go to Google search engine and type in that solution. Like for instance, how to get ready to get married as a man or stuff like that and find out if there are searches, if there are, if other people have asked such questions. If people have asked such questions in volumes, that's a good sign that is something that people are looking for. You can also go to Amazon, check out whether people have written books in that line. If there are books in that line and they are selling, then it's good, 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 good stuff. You can also go to like Udemy, Teachable, all of those kind of platforms and check whether there are probably online courses or stuff in that topic, right? If there are, kudos, it could be something that people are really looking for. Then come on YouTube and search. Have there been people who have produced this um, topic? It's possible for people to have produced it and possibly not a lot of people, which means it might even be a content gap, sort of. But look at the volume of people who are asking or searching for that kind of topic or related topic. It will help you tell whether the volume of people who really need this are a lot. Mind you, you need to validate by making sure that you can identify exactly the people who need the solution and also be able to know if they are in large number. Very, very, very important. So that's number two. Number three, remember we're talking about your ebook here. So you've decided on your ebook idea, right? And now you have the idea which is the solution. And then you have thought about validating it to be sure that that topic is actually in the area or brings a solution to a real problem that people really have. If it doesn't speak to a problem that a lot of people really have, this step too might be a good time to think of another topic or another solution to create your product on. Are you following? Thus far, here. Yeah. Number three. Okay, by the time you have gone to make sure that, oh, there are real people who actually need this, now, the next thing to do is to name this product. Now, from the things that people have said, how they have told you that they want this, the language they use, their tone, who they are, it will help guide you in wording the title of this ebook. For instance, if you say how to make money selling an ebook is a topic. Somebody else can say, oh, yeah, we can put it to someone and somebody say, oh, yeah, I've been thinking of how to, how I can actually create and sell at least 100 copies of my ebook downloads in every day, you know. So if that is, I don't know if that example is cool, but, you know, but if that is what people are asking for more, how can I sell this number every day, for instance, it, it will help guide how you're going to create that solution, which is your ebook. It will help guide your outline, the things you're going to answer in that book. You get what I mean? So validation is very, very important. And at this number three, where you are coining the, the title of it, use the language of the people who are the target audience for that product to put as the title of the ebook. Number four. Now, you have... The, the, the solution, which is the business idea or the ebook idea, you have validated that, yes, I know the kind of the people exactly, the primary people who need it. Every product will always have secondary audience, other people who might not be directly single men, for instance, maybe married men or even women who will buy it. But you need to focus on your primary audience, right? And you have identified that, yeah, there are a lot of single men who are actually confused about what to do while getting married, and you have gotten how they say they want the solution. You have used that to create the exact title of this ebook in a way that is attractive to that demographics. The fourth thing for you to do now is to create a prototype of this product. Now, let me, because we're talking about, about ebook, a prototype could just be design an ebook cover, showing the title, using a catchy image that speaks to these demographics you've identified. So that cover is key. If you can, make a mock-up of that cover. Make it look like a real 3D book. And there are apps to do that. If you want me to share with you the apps to use to convert your um, graphics into a 3D animated book, looks like a real book, let me know in the comment section and I'll give it to you. Look out for my 
uh, for my pinned comment, first comment, if you're already watching this like much later. So you create a prototype. Now for an ebook, a prototype is not just a cover. You're also going to sit down now and frame the actual content of this book. What is going to be, what is the, uh, the book going to solve? Yeah, you come up from the beginning to the end in a way that will answer that question that your demographics have on their minds, right? So you're going to create an outline. So from beginning to the end, those outlines step by step will create the chapters or the parts of this book, of this ebook, right? So when that is ready and see how you're going to create it, each idea, you flesh out a little bit of what that chapter is going to deal on. So just one paragraph is okay. So let's say the title of your ebook is how to get married on a low budget or rather how to get married on budget. And you want to start from, you know, how to create a budget to how to finance it and all of that. You can start your first chapter as why budgeting is important. Do you know what I mean? They give a small um, a paragraph or a description of, oh, in this, in this chapter, I'm going to deal on my actual experience budgeting and, why, and how it has saved me and why it is very important. Do you understand? The number two part of the book might just be different kinds of budgets you can create for a wedding, different things you need to budget for a wedding. Yeah. So yes, in this part, I'm going to highlight as many as the, the different activities that takes place while trying to get married and ensure that I give a life experience and, a, and researched responses about what exactly to put realistically looking at the economy and price of things to each of the of the activities. You know what I mean? Now, thirdly, you know, just like that. So you need to put that in perspective. Okay, so that by the time you have that, what will be in chapter one to five, and you have the snippet of what every of the chapters will look like with that cover design you have done, then I can tell that you have a prototype, right? If you also have, are able to make your design into a 3D book like, since it's an ebook, if you create it into a digital product that is actually showing on the tab or on the tablet or on the phone or even the book, right? to tell that this is an actual book or an ebook, then that will make a prototype. That prototype is what you're going to use for the next stage, which comes to number five. All right, so we're at number five now. And the thing is, you have this prototype now. The thing we are going to battle next with is, how much am I going to be able to sell this? Looking at the people who actually will need this, who have already told me that, yes, I would like to invest in a solution like this. How much could they possibly part with, you know, without thinking too much, without feeling, you know, like it's going to create a hole in their pocket? How much should I price this realistically? And, you know, expert advice, I would advise that you, you price your ebook between $5 and $15. Price your ebook between $5 and $15. That's usually the standard, right? Uh, and that doesn't mean you can't make it less or more, but, but that's just what's realistic. If if you don't intend to make a lot of money from it, you can go from $5 downward even. I don't know. People sell even lower, right? That's fine. So, but that's just a clue. Price it within that range and what you think is realistic and what you think the people you have spoken to. Remember, you had strategy sessions. You have spoken to real people, real friends who are single, who are about to get married or who are looking to get married. And they have told you that, oh, we'll love this right some of the things they have embodied them as well are things you should include in the book so when you look at that solution and look at five dollars between five dollars and fifteen dollars you decide realistically whether you want it to be nine dollars ten dollars five dollars seven dollars whatever and then when you decide on it you stay at that the sixth point is check out an e-commerce website that you want to sell it right whether it's amazon and there are so many of them right but i would also recommend you can use seller Seller is one platform that I use. I have an online store there. And you can actually sell an ebook there without having to pay a subscription. So you, for free, you can sign up on Seller and upload your book and sell it from there. They only take a percentage, I think 0.5% of the actual money of the book for, uh, for from every sale that you make, right? Yeah, built to the buyer, not to you. So consider it. And if you want to set up a seller account, check the description also for how to start. Click the description, you're going to see a link to create your own account and start for free. The good thing that you can have up to six, seven currencies you can sell in and directly into your bank account without stress. There are so many advantages to seller and I recommend it, especially if you're in Africa or even outside Africa, right? Especially if you're in Africa, majorly, yes, you can 
get paid in dollars, euro, pounds, all of those. Yes, you can. The next thing to do is very important. You go to seller and set up this book, the book cover. You know, um, of course, you're going to write about this book, why people should buy it, and all of those details. You're going to fill all that in the category, the price, everything. Just follow the prompt on Stella and set it up. Immediately you're done. The next thing you're supposed to do is start talking about it using your other social media platforms to talk about the essence of this book and drive people to go to Stellar with a link of that book that you have already created on Stellar and let them go pre order it. Yes, you're going to pre sell this. You're going to pre-sell this. Now, why this is important, you need to validate finally if this book idea is actually a hot sale. It's actually something that people are desperate and waiting to pay for, right? So you're going to put it up there. The book is not ready. You haven't even written it. But you're going to decide on a pre-order. So give yourself at least three weeks or a time frame that you, that you can get to finish the book. Make sure that that book is not more than 70 pages, please. Nobody wants to read a, like a whole book. On an, as an ebook, make sure it's not more than 70 pages A4, right? So you're going to make sure that you upload the, that, that book and start selling it every day from the day you upload it till when your pre order ends. So if it's the month you're giving, let's say you uploaded it today, the 26th of February, make sure that you tell the people that it will be delivered to them automatically in their email by 26th of March 2023, for instance. You get what I mean? So you start selling it for that whole month, that whole month. And should I add, you must sell it every day. Market it in that sense. Market and sell it every day. So you're going to be prepping these people with your post to know why they should get this book, the things in this book, why, why they should believe in you, what that solution will help them achieve, the dangers it will save them from, and all of those heartbreaking things that people get into marriage and regret, that the answers in that book will help them with. You know what I mean? So go ahead and market it till your pre-order time. Now, the next stage. Also remember that you can run ads to it, you can run Facebook ads to it, Google ads to it, just anything to make sure you get as many people who are the target audience to know about this book. Okay, they're not going to know whether the book is not ready or not, but they are going to know that, okay, this book is ready and I'm paid for it and I'm going to get it delivered to me on a forward date, right? So the next thing to do is keep tracking until people pay. If people start paying, that is the time to get to the next stage, which is go and start writing the book. And as, I don't know, if you're not living under a rock by now, you know that it's pretty easy to write any book right now. Make sure that you can look at each of those outlines you've outlined. Decide on your personal story, which you're going to use to drive it, which are solution-based, which are like your commitments for you. But make sure that you can create, you know, real life examples or experiences that you can use to explain each of the chapters. Make sure you write those prompts down. Then go ahead and write. You know, with the help of artificial intelligence like ChatGPT and the rest, you can actually frame up some of the outlines further and then impute your real life experiences and like your tips and your templates and your step by step guides, whatever it is, into this book. This content should not take you more than two days to write or three at most. If you have all the time in your day to work, if you have at least eight hours every day to put in, that book should not take you more than 20, 48 hours or 72 hours to write. I'm not kidding you. I know that we're not all the same, but that's what works for me. That's how it works for me. And I'm thinking it will work for you. So you go ahead and write this book beautifully. Get help if you need to. If you need someone to help you write it, make sure you get. Make sure you also get help with editing it. Make sure that there are no grammatical errors. No, 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 no. Don't turn your audience away because you have done a good job, but that is badly presented. Okay. Also, ensure that at every stage that you need a guide or help, get it. If you need a guide with your design, like we mentioned before, get a guide. Get somebody to design it professionally. Okay. All right. You can use Canva, right? You can use Canva. There are already ebook templates there. You can just, you know, tweak, remove, and that, change color, and all of that, and boom you have your ebook cover. And another point with creating the book right now is also make sure you add some more freebies, some bonuses. Maybe if you have something related you have created before or you, something new you can create, you can add as a bonus for people who get this book, add it. People like to feel like they got so much for so little. That's just a tip for somebody who is you know, business smart, right? So go ahead and create this book. That's what this level is about. Make sure to deliver this product seamlessly. Like I said, if you're using seller and it's on pre-order, even for eight hours before the date you put for your for your delivery, 
seller is going to remind you to upload the real book upload the real book without trying to change the pre-order don't shift the date don't try to do anything so work make sure you discipline yourself to work and get that book ready even before the date so that all the seller would do is just to automatically on that day and the time you have chosen they send the book directly to people who have already prepaid right very very important don't disappoint your clients at this point don't say because i told you to pre-sell you got lazy and other things took over and you could not meet up you have people's money and your integrity is at stake okay all right so with that delivered the first few people who get it and read it and please make sure you ask for your for their feedback and their testimonials and be, continue to use their testimonials to go back and keep marketing and selling keep marketing and selling keep marketing and selling keep marketing and selling and delivering and marketing and selling guys this has been my absolute pleasure sharing this with you and i hope you use it i hope you use it every of those points that i have made if you follow them just like i i said you are going to make a lot of money from just this ebook trust me Trust me, because first of all, you're going to create something phenomenal, something that people have been saying, oh my God, I have searched everywhere. I've been wondering if, if, if somebody can create something like this, if someone can answer these nagging questions in my mind, right? But because you research your audience well, you're able to create a bumper, something that is actually a solution that they will read, okay? And trust me, you can do this with a webinar. You can do this as an online course, the same method. And trust me, it's going to work. Tell me what you're going to do with this. Tell me in the comment section what struck out for you in this method, if you're going to use this method, and what else you want me to create on this. Make sure to watch this video to learn more about this. And until I come your way again, go and create your ebook right now and share with me in my email in the comment section. And also, let me know what you think about it. Okay? Go make some money. All right? Cheers. If you're actually also very interested in becoming an affiliate in my own ebook business, let me also know in the comment section or by email that you're interested in being an affiliate and I'll open up money channels for you guys. All right. See you soon.